Hey everyone. Um, so it looks like we lost connection. Um, and it was not fun. Um, the power went finish up our, our stretching for today. I'm so sorry for that. Um, it looks like next week we'll have a better setup for you for our, your midday stretch. But in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning back in. Just want to give you the rest of your stretch for your midday break. So um, if you remember, we were already stretching out our hamstrings. So our hamstrings, you have your foot out like this. And you're going to just lean forward and have that fold. And you're going to switch to the other side and do that same fold, okay? So the next thing that we're going to be doing, though, is going to be, you're going to be seated in, um, in a kneeling position here. So you're going to just stretch from side to side, okay? So it's going to be a deeper stretch than the one we were having from this side to the next. So you're going to put your left hand on the floor. You're going to reach up and fully extend. We're going to go bend over this way. And you're going to let this arm bend just a little bit as you're stretching over so this just gives you a deeper stretch into your your obliques okay into your hips so we'll take that stretch there and just do deep breaths as well and remember to keep your heart open you don't want to collapse the shoulders like this you want to keep it open and keep that alignment okay and remember to take that deep breath in through your nose and out through the mouth okay And we're going to switch sides. So we're coming over here. Inhale. And another stretch there. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, as we're going into this new norm, I'm just so ready to experience how life just tries to show up like, you know, power outages from rainstorms when we're doing important live streams to stretch and get a brain break, you know, coming back over, swinging it back around. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go back into rolling our shoulders again. So I don't know about you. I kind of lost my flow just now trying to figure out what happened, but I'm glad that we're back. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more stretching here. We're gonna come back to that standing position. I'm just gonna take you up here where I was before. At this point, I'm now on my phone just so that we, we can keep everything together, you know? Okay, so we're back here and we did those quad stretches, okay? So now we're gonna bring them forward. So if you can, if you've got the balance, take your knee and you're gonna pull towards your chest. Okay, you can also do this laying on the floor. But I think that this is a good way to both build strength in your standing leg and build your balance as well. It's just bringing that stretch in. The other side, now switch legs. All right. And during this stretch, as I'm pulling my knee to my chest, I'm also engaging my core. So that core is really gonna help me with my stability. It's gonna really help me in maintaining um, that strength in my standing right leg. Okay, and just let that go. <sighs> By the way, you guys, we've got our uh, Music for All digital ball happening this weekend. Make sure that you are tuned in we got a cool uh, set of songs for you, both from our students and from our staff. I'm really excited to see how it all turns out. Come back to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna do another stretch. So I know that some of you might not have a, um, a strap but if you have a scarf or a towel, um, even a some type of belt, just something that allows us to have some type of tension here, we're gonna do a little rotation for our arms. Again, we're sitting in front of computers. We don't really get the chance to move. We're here typing or looking at our phones. So our shoulders tend to get a little collapsed, but you're gonna take your strap or your scarf, okay? And you're gonna just have some tension here because we're gonna rotate from front to back. So we're gonna go here. 
We're gonna try to have full range of motion. So you don't have to go all the way down. If you can, that's cool. Okay. And you're just gonna go back and forth. And if you're saying, okay, Miss Namara, this is probably a little too tense, don't go all the way back, okay? And if you wanna, you can just open it up, loosen it up, and it'll give you less tension, okay? It's just our shoulders have the most mobility in our body. So we wanna make sure that we're exploring that full range of motion. But if you are feeling like this is too easy for you, like it is for me right now, you can go ahead and adjust. Just make it a little bit more narrow. Just wanna maintain that tension there. All right. And make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Okay. So if you want to put your scarf away, that's totally great. You can do that now. We're just going to do some more. So you remember we were doing our shoulder rolls. Now we're going to just do some full range of motion for each shoulder. So we're going to put one arm up. Bring it around and forward. So as I'm bringing my arm around, I'm allowing rotation to take place. So I'm gonna take a step back so you can see. Right now my hand is facing in towards me. So I bring it up, it turns out, and we come back. Okay, so let's go back the other way. Okay. And let's switch sides. So we're going up, rotating the hand outwards. It's like we're swimming. Again. And make sure you're breathing. Are you breathing right now? Let's go back the other way. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of a yoga strength pose. Okay, it's a lunge. So I'm just gonna see if I can bring you down here. Oh, and that's when I lose my phone. Hey, it's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment, obviously. Okay, so the way that this is gonna go, you guys, you gotta watch here. So, I'm gonna take your, I'm still standing on my mat. I'm gonna take my right leg back, and then we're going to just bend the left knee forward. I'm putting my hands on my knees, and I'm making sure that this back leg is straight. So we're sinking in and I'm squaring my hips. So what does it mean when you're squaring your hips? It means that your hips are facing the same way your shoulders are facing. So we're not twisting out or twisting in, we're staying grounded. And I'm imagining that there's this fishing line coming from the center of my body all the way to the, to the floor. So it keeps me centered, okay? This is a great stretch for your legs. All right. And now I'm gonna come forward again and switch legs. So again, that back leg is straight. I'm bending my right knee and I'm keeping my hips squared. And remember, squared means that it's in alignment with my shoulders. I'm not twisting out to the left or turning in towards the right. All right? Okay. And now, I'm gonna take that step forward. And that was me wrapping up our stretch. So sorry for that disconnection there, 
But next week, we're going to have a better connection for you so we can do our stretches without any interruption. Thank you, guys. My name is Namara. And if you want to tune in with us, we have a few other live streams happening for you throughout this week. So make sure you RSVP so you can get that push notification so you can get tuned in and take that little break from your everyday work. Okay? I love you guys. See you later.